Well, mother from Aurora is a quadruple amputee. She lost her hands and her legs when pneumonia led to septic shock. Health specialist Kathy Walsh talked with her today. And Kathy, after talking with her, you discovered that she shares her story with a really grateful heart. Absolutely. She is so thankful to be alive. You know, each year, more than 250,000 Americans die as a result of sepsis. The key is catching it and treating it early. <laughs> yes, of course you do get a hug. Victoria Mugo is a celebrity of sorts. You look amazing. She's a miracle to the medical center of Aurora. I'll never forget that smile. For months, Victoria was in the ICU. She lost both hands and both legs. Yet she's back to say thanks. Because I'm grateful for life. You don't get any sicker than, than Victoria was. On January 9th, she was rushed to the ER with pneumonia. Within hours, she was in septic shock, a toxic response to the infection. Carolyn Golis is sepsis coordinator. So she had about an 80% chance that she would not survive. Victoria was put in a coma and on life support. Blood flow to her extremities slowed down. When the young mother woke up, her hands and legs were dying. I could just snap them and not feel anything. All four were amputated. I am not sitting in a corner feeling sorry for myself because I don't have my arms or my legs. I'm walking now. Victoria's trust in God is her strength. He got me through it. He is the one who has brought me this far. She, she says she has what matters most, her son, Alexander, and the rest of her loving family. Yes. I love that smile. A smile of gratitude, a fighting spirit fueled by faith. And this past weekend, Victoria did the Denver Sepsis Challenge 5K. She hopes to eventually counsel other survivors, and she will definitely be an inspiration. She is to me already, I just know. talking with her. I, I'm just watching her in awe. She's, She's an incredible person, yeah. yeah. Well, it's just delightful. Kathy, thank you.